Hello everyone, today I'm making caramel cups. Now, um, you're gonna hear a little bit of a noise. Is Heidi full of answer? Okay, Sunny's barking outside, hustle and bustle. The washing is going in the washing machine, and Sue, and it's a normal day. So, <laughs> anyways, yeah, I got 500 grams of uh, uh, pure butter, and I've softened it a bit in the microwave. And I'm just going to loosen it up a bit. There we go. I know that's not much, eh? <laughs> yeah, I've got two tablespoons of oil. Okay. And one and a half cups of caster sugar. Oh, you know, forget yeah, I'm so sorry. Now, the sugar is going to make the biscuit uh, more crispy and harder. I want this biscuit specifically to be on the more crispy side but if you want it a bit more softer you add only one cup of caster sugar or a quarter cup so remember 500 grams of butter two tablespoons of oil one and a half cups of caster sugar and now we beat until it's light and creamy <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to add um, two teaspoons of vanilla essence. This is a big batch, so I like to add a lot. You can add extract as well. I am struggling to pronounce words. We end up like a Sorry, guys. Okay. One egg, you'll grab one egg. It's just a normal large egg. So mix this egg. Okay, it's nice and light and creamy. Just uh, a little bit off. Take it off as well with this. I'll get the off camera again. Classic no. Okay. Now I've got five cups of cake flour. And a teaspoon of baking powder I'm going to add and just a pinch of salt okay uh, this is one of my basic biscuit doughs uh, you can use it for malt tarts for tarts whatever you like okay flour in and then oh you know I'm not even talking don't forget the baking powder you know when you have one of them days but I I don't let it bother me I just go on show must go on <laughs> I'm gonna wipe this now now huh? okay so I've cleaned up a bit and I'm gonna go in with my clean hands and just it's five cups of flour eh? if you want your dough also to be a bit softer you add four and a half cups or four and three quarter but I want my biscuit dough to be more on the um, tougher side tough in meaning you must hold up because I want to fill it with stuff, you know. Another tip I can give you, if you like, you can add a bit of coconut in here. You can add, um, what does that word? I don't know what it's a 
what is it other thing ah it will come back to me again there we go five cups nice dough I'm just going to bring it together I'm going to put it in cling wrap in cling wrap and then I'm going to put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes or less because you know with the pure butter it takes longer to I mean quicker to get hot to get hard in the fridge here we go the kitchen cement okay enough of this put it together and I'm going to show you what it looks like okay guys I've made the dough here it is and I'm just going to press it a bit more in clean wrap okay I'm going to put it in a plate and just put it there in the fridge until it's almost semi hard Actually, can you just put this in the fridge in my baby okay and now what I have is the shell pans <laughs> Sunny. And I bought this at Mr. Cheap and I bought some on Take A Lot as well. And I've just sprayed it with cook and bacon spray. Cook and bake spray. You can use butter. I also have my drikachi. If you can see. My packing bag for later for the cream and everything else. And I'm going to blind bake this. You don't have to if you don't mind it swelling up. But I've made um, 16 of the baking paper and I cut it into squares. So after I put the biscuit, I'm going to put this in on top of the biscuit. I'm going to use some beans or rice to weigh it down. And that's called blind baking. I'm also going to only use half of the dough for that. And I'm going to make some mini tartlets. Mini tarts. Yes. And we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm just going to roll it out and use my turkachi. Mm, it's a nice dough. I put some clean wrap on top just to help me roll out better. Okay, let me finish this and then I'm going to do the turkachi. Okay, so here is my biscuit. And you can see. And put it in my baking tray and press it out a bit to the edges and then I'm just going to put a fork and then a piece of paper line baking and then I'm going to continue One second, guys. Okay, guys, so this is blind baking. We put a piece of baking paper and some heavy, uh, like beans or rice. And you do it with all the biscuits. Like I said, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But then just remember your biscuit will be a bit thick. So this will keep it down. Okay? And I'm going to continue and we'll be right back. Okay, so here's the blind baking. So this is going to bake for 10 minutes then I'm going to take out the paper and the beans and I'm going to bake it for another five minutes that's blind baking right I'm going to do the same with the bigger tarts and then I also did so you can you do have a choice <laughs> and what you do is with these you don't blind bake you don't put any parchment paper or beans you just press nicely down and remember the dough must be rolled out to half a centimeter you press down nicely with your finger this bottom part and prick it with um, a fork and you bake it just like this and my oven is preheating on eight, 180 and we're going to bake it for 12 to 15 minutes and we'll be right back okay guys and we're back um, you can go a bit lighter with your biscuit if you like but remember I added extra sugar so I like this to be a little bit more on the darker side okay I've got some caramel you can spoon yours into the biscuit cup I've got a nice piping bag here and I'm just going to start with all of them. There we go. Banana goes on top of the caramel, then some fresh cream. I'm going to keep 
keep some for my bigger tarts I made some ganache for the bigger tarts as well but I'll do a separate video for that so that you guys so it can be more clear for you guys and don't forget I'm going to do fancies eh as well okay it's on the side Okay, now we're gonna clean hands, guys. Some nani going on top. It was a big banana, so I had to cut it in half. Okay. I know this video is a bit longer than normal, but I prefer to show every or with most videos as much as I possibly can. Okay, I'm gonna carry on now. All the bananas are done. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do the next step the fresh cream. This is um, a cup of fresh cream that I whipped up with a, a tablespoon of icing sugar and um, some vanilla essence until nice stiff peaks formed. There we go. Quick. You mean my tummy? So you guys still with me? Is that other stuff done almost that's all and now we put a little chocolate shavings of chocolate There's like six people waiting for this cakes. So I'm trying to get done. Is the parky. The parky is the guy that look after the parky. <laughs> it's Ima. The Ima that look after neighborhood watch. It's Shelly, my assistant. And Opa. They're all waiting. They're going to take home or eat. I'm not sure. And now the strawberry. So, so I'll continue and I'll be right back. Here we are guys, done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Pour some tea now. Look at that. Get some tea in. Oh yummy. Looky looky. There we go. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye everyone. Love you guys.